What's going on guys? Arnold Swarm coming at you guys with another video. And uh, this video is still about the NFL draft first round that took place yesterday. And uh, the Detroit Lions had first um, um, two picks in the first round. Talked about Hutchinson a little bit earlier. Now I'm going to hit on the, uh, uh, the second pick that they have. The Lions made a bold move, got aggressive, moved up from 32 up to number 12 with um, an in-house rival with the Minnesota Vikings of all teams. And um, they moved up from 32 to, to, to get to number 12 with Minnesota, and they had to give up 32, 34, and 66. So that's um, a first-round pick at 32, 34. That's a beginning pretty much at the second round. And uh, number 66 is pretty much at the beginning of the third round. So they get, if you think about it, um, it's, it's, it's not a lot to give up. But it sounds like it is. And then we also got back, as, uh, as Detroit Lions, we got a number 46 overall pick back. So that's a second round pick from the Minnesota Vikings. So if you really think about it, we gave up a third round pick. And um, obviously, you're giving up the 32. You're swapping. You're swapping with the Minnesota Vikings. Um, on the, on the 12 and the 32. And then the 34, we had to give up. Kind of. You're swapping second round picks again, even though we lost a little bit of value. We had to go down in, in the second round, and then we lost a 33, um, a third round pick. Sorry, we lost a third round pick, but it's good that we did get back um, a second round pick. Now, this is a kid that we drafted, the kid um, Jamison Williams uh, from Alabama Crimson Tide, a wide receiver, uh, six foot three, 190 pounds. Um, this is not a draft profile, so I'm not going to get too much into what, what he's about, but 94 catches, 1,838 uh, yards through the air, 19.6 yards per catch, 18 touchdowns, and um, a couple rushing attempts, but nothing big, and uh, no real special teams um, work as well. But this is a kid that was an Ohio State Buckeye product. Um, didn't really do much his first couple years. At, um, at Ohio State. You know, he was behind guys like Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, two studs that went the first round as well, that went before him again, too. So this kid's going to have a chip on his shoulder. And then people will say, well, if he's so good, um, how can he beat out guys like Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave? Well, Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave are true, true number one wide receivers in my eyes. These, the, these guys are phenomenal football players. And Jameson Williams is one too. Um, he had an insane 2021 with over uh, 1,500 yards and 16 touchdowns through the air. Something like almost 80 catches, 77 catches or something like that. Um, he is a true, true deep threat. I think he's he's a number one wide receiver. He's going to add to this core with guys like Chark, St. Brown, Josh Reynolds. Um, we got some size now going on, and this kid is fast. Probably could be in um, consideration for being one of the fastest wide receivers in this draft. Um, he did te tear an ACL, though, um, at the national championship game. Um, those kind of injuries are different nowadays. It's not like a few years back where the, those type of injuries were a year, year and a half, um, season-ending injuries. Um, injuries. Now it's like six to eight months, six to nine months. This kid hurt himself in the national championship that was, I, I believe, in December or something like that, uh, or January. And he should be full bore running at um, by July. So new medicine, two thousand. We live in the, we live in new times. Um, the medicine is much better, and this kid is, is on pace. He's way ahead of schedule. Put it that way. We've seen it already in the NFL with guys like Cam Akers, who hurt himself in training camp, and then he was playing at the he was playing at the end of the year five six months down the road, which is incredible. Um, normally, a few years back, that that was completely unheard of. I don't know what they're doing now to these kids, but um, medicine has changed; it's much better. But what we're getting here is a true deep threat. He's going to be the number one guy. Um, he is. Magical with the football in his hands, he 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 gets into the end zone. He runs away from people. He separates. He's the fastest guy on the team for sure, is is my guess. And um, Jared Goff has to be smiling ear to ear. Um, this kid right here, like we had to move up to get him. Got him around twelve. Like I said, he was probably like you listen to some of the guys on the radio. Probably one of the best players in this whole draft. 
Um, he was probably going to get picked in the top five if he didn't hurt himself in that national championship game. And he was a guaranteed top 10 pick. You know, we got him at 12. We had to go up and get him. We, um, we had to surpass, I guess, Green Bay was really in love with him. The Eagles were really, really coveting him hard. I think the Eagles that ended up um, trading for A.J. Brown. But apparently they really liked this kid and they were going to grab him. Um, it's a risk. It's a risky move by Brad Holmes. You know, this fan base is something else, eh? You, you, you They kind of stay quiet in free agency. Brad Holmes gets torn apart. And it's not by every Lions fan, but he gets torn apart. He goes and makes an aggressive move like this. And then he's like, oh, they gave up too much. If you really look at the trade, they didn't give up uh, a whole hell of a lot more than they should have. It was actually a really good deal for the Detroit Lions. You're swapping out picks. You did lose a third, but you, you know you, you you did get that second round pick back, and you got a stud. The, these ACL injuries, they're not as um, I'm not going to say they're not serious because they are, but they but they can be um, fixed a lot easier now in 2022. But the Lions made a bold move, jumped up, and got themselves probably. The best wide receiver in the draft, in my opinion. Um, him and Garrett Wilson are pretty close. I think Garrett Wilson might have edged him out a bit, but Jamison Williams is the real deal. And we got ourselves a, um, a game changer. So that's going to be good for Jared Goff and this offense. This offense is looking pretty crisp now. But thanks for the video, guys. It's another quick one. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the bottom right. Don't forget to um, hit the notification bell. Get all my videos and don't forget to like and comment. How do you like the Williams pick? I think it was a boss move by Brad Holmes, man. Go Lions. Boom.